this screen how to okay Okay, shall we go ahead? So it's a pleasure to introduce Professor uh, Joan Park uh, from Soon Kwon Kwan University in Korea, who will speak on recent progress on harmonic manifolds. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the invitation. So uh, I also would like to thank put to the, the uh, participants uh, for uh, such a different time. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, recent uh, the development on harmonic manifolds. This is a uh, joint work with uh, Professor Gilke. Now he retired last year. Um, in a Euclidean space, uh, there is a radial harmonic function. Bruce asked, the, does there exist a radial solution to the Laplace equation for an arbitrary Riemannian manifold? Such uh, manifold, uh, such as a solution exists, the manifold is called to the harmonic manifold. The mathematician tried to classify the such manifolds. They found such manifold must be Einstein. Here, the radial means that the, uh, the function is radial means that the, the function just depends on the radial from the fixed point. So now, the Laplace acting on the function is that the minus times Hessian of trace of Hessian of F. Riemannian manifold is called harmony. So there exists non constant radial harmonic function in a punctured neighborhood for any point. General references are the Bess's book, the Berendt, Trichery, Benekis lecture note. Nippers survey article. If uh, someone is interesting about these fields, okay. Uh, to introduce the uh, harmonic manifold, so we need a basic uh, notion. M be a Riemannian manifold of dimension M. D ball be the associated measure. We identify a neighborhood of P with a neighborhood O in tangent space using the exponential map. We fix a local orthonormal frame for tangent space to introduce coordinates psi 1 to psi m. The d psi is the Euclidean measure on tangent space. We express the Pullback of the volume form is there some kind some function on the uh, d psi. This theta tilde is called to the volume density function. In a normal coordinates, theta tilde is the determinant of the gij. In polar coordinates, d psi is the r's m minus one power dr this theta. Using this, the uh, exponential pullback of the volume form is the theta dr this theta. This theta is the, the volume element of the sphere. Then the volume density function with the polar coordinates and the rectangular coordinates are becomes this one. Now we expand volume density function in geodesic coordinates for an arbitrary Riemannian manifold. P is a point M and psi is the tangent vector. 
So we expand to the Tela, the former power series over the center, Xi is zero. Then the volume density is the, the one plus the, the two goes to the infinite. So first order does not appear because you use the normal coordinates. Here, HK is a homogeneous of degree K in Xi in the derivatives of the metric evaluated at the point P. Then the HK C Xi is the CK times HK. This is the homogeneous of degree K in Xi. Alfred Gray uh, computed the H2 to the H6 the two years ago already. So we compute to the H7 and H8. Here, the derivatives of the metric, derivatives of the metric can be expressed in terms of the curvature at the origin. So you have the HK uh, expand uh, in, in terms of curvature. Then here, the H2 comes this H3, H4, H5. Here, JK is the covariant derivative of the rich operator. And then J0, is the Jacobi operator. See here, the J0 is the, the R, Xi, the um, something, then something, Xi, oh, Xi, right? Hmm. This is a Jacobi operator. The R is the Riemann curvature tensor. This is self adjoint operator. Okay. So I would like to briefly explain about how to get the, the coefficients. This is comes from the uh, Hermann Biles theorem on the invariance of the orthogonal group. Let EI with a local orthogonal basis, and we adopt Einstein convention, summing over the repeated indices, then the Peter Gilkis, the uh, heat trace asymptotic method, then the, we can compute the lambda i, lambda i. And also, if you uh, <coughs> standard method of the product manifold of the Riemannian manifold, the minus one dimensional Riemannian manifold with a circle, with the flat metric, then the flat metric. So the HN is the, the HNM is the HNN. So the coefficients are the dimension free. So here H2 is the degree two. So the degree to cover certain degree two, S3 is the degree Three. This is covariant derivative. H4 is that the degree four. Four is the demand degree four. Two, 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 two. Okay. So this, those are the spanning set of the H2, H3, H4. Using that, the you use the universal examples, then you can actually determine the universal, the constants. So we suppose the given smooth function set i, i goes to one to m minus one, set i are the real analytic function. So set i zero equals to zero because radial function always has the singularity. So I put the zero to zero. So we considered what product metric that I square, then take a parallel frame along a geodesic and define coordinates 
using the relevant geodesic spray. Then the density function becomes theta one to the theta m minus one. For example, we take the theta i is the sign r, then we obtain the metric of the unit sphere. If we take all the this set i is the sine hyperbolic r, then you can obtain the uh, metric of the hyperbolic space. So now actually we compute to the, the Christopher symbols uh, the using the this we have the metric. So now we compute to the Christopher symbol. Then we read F square is the F and then partial differentiate R is the one times two R is two times using the causal formula. You can get the Christopher symbol, then you can get the, the curvature. Then the, we set the function is the red this, then the density function theta is the product of the theta i, then we actually compute to the covariant derivative. Then theta i do not form a orthonormal basis, we normalize by the f inverse, f i is the this one. Okay, so then the we then have the lambda one k to the lambda one minus k at the eigenvalues of the operator of the jk. Then we have the trace of the jk is this. So from this, you may compute the invariance. So, so m is the dimension pi, then we can get h2 to the H8, you can get to the H8. So more complicated formalism is needed for to study H9. The, okay, then from here, the H1 here, H2 is this one. So now we compare of this, then here, so trace of the this one, the, you have the, or you have the this one here. So you can get the, this the trace of the uh, J Jacobi operator lam partial R and H two comes to the here. The now dimension is the five. This is the theta one, two, theta three, theta four. Then we actually compute using the this. Then we have the this relation. Then comparing the these two, so the lambda zero has to be minus one over six. So similarly. So you got the whole the coefficients that you obtained. Now, the if the manifold is harmonic manifold, then the, the this is the, the radial function. So all the coefficients has to be zero and even terms left. So if you look at the, um, Remainian manifold here, then the harmonic manifold is does not depend on the psi, only depend on the radius. So this has to be the constant trace of the j psi is constant of the sum multiple of the norm square. So, so this becomes Einstein. Harmonic manifold is Einstein. And also this is constant, 
then covariant derivative of trace is the same as the, the trace of the covariant derivative. The this vanishes. This vanishes. All the terms vanish. See the old term becomes vanish. Then H four we have the two remains. Okay, so see so this comes. Okay, so now so we from the first year the this equation so manifold is Einstein and also this second thing has to be the if this is the constant then this is constant this has to be constant so trace of the j square is constant too so Einstein and both satisfies two sign manifold on the constant on the unit tangent bundle so we differentiate these relations the yield additional relations so we permit as the simplify the formulas okay so now uh, there is a interesting uh, relation between mean curvature of the geodesic sphere and volume density function. Then uh, mean curvature of, uh, this is the mean curvature of the geodesic curvature, geodesic sphere, sorry, geodesic sphere. And the volume density function is this. So, uh, let me briefly show that A be the Jacobi operator or on gamma, gamma be the unit speed geodesic. Then A is the endomorphism of the, A is the endomorphism of the alpha path, then defined by the Jacobi equation. Then the density function is the determinant A. Now, Using the linear algebra, determinant A prime is the determinant multiply trace. The A prime, A inverse, this is the shape operator. So you got the mean curvature of a geodesic sphere is the, this one. Okay. Then the um, Berendt, Tricheri, and Benecke prove that the, the following are uh, equivalent condition. For any point P, there exists non-constant radial harmonic function in a functional label of P. Mean curvature of Jure sphere is a radial function, which does not depend on the angular parameter. So does not depend on the center and direction point. The for any P, the volume density function depends on the distance. Every harmonic function satisfies mean value property. So average of the function is the center of the function. Okay, so the function the radial function of the Laplacian is a function of the this. Those are the whole the equivalent condition. Okay, recently the uh, Professor Gilke and so, myself. So, Mark, can I ask you a question? Yes. The, concerning the, the previous theorem, the equivalent conditions. Yes, yes. Uh, the homogeneity is not there. I mean, are there exist non-homogeneous harmonic manifolds? Homogeneous in the sense that the isometry group acts transitively. Do, do you know if there exist non-homogeneous harmonic manifolds? Okay, no, no, that's there in this moment, the, there does not, uh, the, uh, the non-homogeneous case does not uh, found yet. Only the known examples are the harmonic, the homogeneous case. Could, could, could you please 
Could you please say it again? Okay, so I said, I will go later, it comes. So can I, can I show oh, okay. you later? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so the um, geodesic polar coordinates that are set up, the mean curvature of the geodesic sphere is the sigma p, h0 is the space of a radial harmonic functions, h1p is the space of the red uh, harmonic one forms of the Laplacian on the functional geodesic ball of the injective radius. E lambda, E zero is the, is the space of the radial eigenfunctions. E one P is the uh, radial eigen one forms of the Laplacian. The following is equivalent. The N is satisfied that every point then M is said to be harmonic manifold. If it is satisfied at the some point P, then we call it centrally harmonic. So this is comes later. Okay, set up P is radial, then the mean curvature is radial. This from this, you can see this is radial, then this is radial. Also, so this comes from the Laplacian is that using the geodesic polar coordinates, then the this is the spherical Laplacian and this comes. Okay, so here, if this is the, the only the function of the radius, then the Laplacian so this is just the uh, linear OD, second order linear ODE. So solution space is a dimension two. So this is the, the uh, function of the radius function, then this becomes the true. And also dimension of the uh, solution space, harmonic space is the dimension two, then this is the at least two. This is comes. If the dimension of the harmony function is at least two, which means that there is non-trivial harmony function. So it, if then the, uh, you can see that sigma is radial. Okay. So dimension of the uh, harmony one form is two. Dimension of the harmonic one form is that uh, greater than one, at least one. Dimension of the eigenform, hmm, eigenform with the lambda is non zero. If lambda is zero, then harmonic. Dimension of the uh, harmonic eigenform is the at least one, which means non trivial eigenfunctions exist. And then dimension of the uh, eigen one form is two, then dimension of the uh, eigen one form is at least two. Four is the equivalent condition. The any is satisfied, then this manifold is the harmonic manifold. This is comes from the, those two equations. Okay, so, and then you use the fundamental theorem of the ODEs, then it solves that. Here, then plot space, then the density function is the R and minus one's power. The harmonic space is the spanned by constant function and log R, if dimension is two, the, um, M is the dimension is greater than two, the harmonic functions spanned by the constant function and this. And harmonic one form is spanned by R dr as one minus M dr. So now we generalize the, this one to the real analytic setting. M be the harmonic manifold we expand the density function 
So this is coefficients as true as true. Then the eigenfunction is that lambda is non zero. Then eigenfunction is that, okay, so eigenfunction is that there is dimension is true. So there is a two dimensional. Then you can real analytic function satisfies this. If the lambda is zero, then four is there, the harmonic function, trivial, so trivial harmonic function. Then the, here is the uh, regular solution. There is a non-negative singular solution. Then there exists the, some real analytic function and the constant with the some sigma zero is one, then dimension is true, is that the some solution plus the uh, previously eigenfunction and logarithm and log r dimension is greater than three, then to the some analytic solution, sigma <coughs> multiply this one plus one over m minus two, the constant depends on m and the log, log, log r. Okay, I can one form is that the dimension two, then there is the base, then <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> lambda is non-zero, then we may take the previously eigenfunction of the R, then minus divided by lambda and the multiply M, the lambda is zero, then we can take a limit. Okay, here, so uh, here CM is the constant controlling whether or not the log terms are present in the, the pi zero. Okay, so um, we compute um, all the terms are zero and the dimension is four is constant is the four times H2. This is the the here, remember, in the density function. And dimension is six, that this becomes this way. Dimension is A, this is the, this. So the constant depends on the first and second order and cube order, yeah. And the fourth, the rank one symmetric space, the in row dimension is that positive scalar curvature is this, negative scalar curvature is this. So this negative curvature comes the plus, comes all the things comes minus times. Okay, so now the volume density function of the harmonic manifold is a exponential polynomial. Every simply connected homogeneous harmonic manifold is flat or length one symmetric or non symmetric dynamic grid space. Is this your question? I don't know. Homogeneous, any simply connected homogeneous harmonic manifold is flat or length one symmetric or non symmetric dynamic grid space. Here, until now, there is no examples are the homogeneous case. So uh, the open question remains, is a harmonic manifold necessarily homogeneous? This still remains the question. Okay, now the harmonic manifolds the, is the Einstein manifold. So 
uh, if you assume that n is the greater than three, then scalar coverage is constant. So all lone harmonic manifolds are locally isometric of the uh, following geometries. If the tau is zero, then plot, tau is positive, then rank one symmetric space up to homothetic. So spheres of the radius one density function is the sine, so m minus one's power, complex projective space R, sine two m minus one R, cosine R, quaternion projective space e is the sine four m minus R, cosine R, the carry projective space is the those one. Okay, so negative case, the rank of one symmetric space is the hyperbolic space, complex hyperbolic space, quaternion hyperbolic space, carry projective space, or is the uh, sine becomes a sine hyperbolic, cosine becomes cosine hyperbolic, that's all. So in the um, negative scale curvature, dynamic grid space, there are the non-symmetry, though until here, there are those are the symmetry. So, but the, uh, here is the uh, dynamic grid found the non-symmetry uh, harmonic space. So um, dynamic grid space is a solved manifold of dimension M. The K is the center of the associated algebra. If the K is two, then dimension is the seven plus four N. So the, the first example of the counter example of the Leonovich conjecture is the seven. Leonovich uh, conjectured harmonic space is the, the flat or length one symmetric space, but the dynamic rich bound to the, the counter example. Okay, so here k equals three, then k equal four, the dimension. So there are lots of the uh, dynamic rich space, lots of the, the dynamic rich spaces. Okay, let me the briefly introduce the dynamic grid space. Then dynamic grid space is the, the two-step repotent real algebra with the one-dimensional the extension. Then the we defined skew symmetry operator, the, the center G, then the JG is the endomorphism of the O to O not whole. Then the O part goes, goes to one over two. The center part is the G. The J scale is the minus J norm scale, identity O part, not the whole N. So uh, the simply connected B crew with the such uh, real algebra is called to the uh, dynamic grid space this space is a harmonic manifold, so Einstein manifold. Okay, here, so M is the harmonic manifold with the density function is this, then the first, the K, we reduce the uh, ordered eigenvalues of the reduced Jacobi operator, which means the Jacobi operator is cosi is zero, so, we restrict to the, the J psi to the psi part is the reduced Jacobi operator. The first K, the average of the first K is less than 4K. The remaining is the, the greater than M minus one minus K. If the equality holds, then M is a rank one symmetric space. So I want to prove that M is a harmonic manifold. Then the first uh, sum of the lambda i, lambda i is the, the eigenvalues 
of the reduced Jacobi operator. Psi is the, the zero, so we just reduced the uh, Jacobi operator G tilde. Okay, then the first sum of the eigenvalue is the 4k plus and minus k minus one. JSI square trace of the Jacobi of the square is this one. Then the proof is that the we tell expansion whole thing, then we actually the compute to the our density function. Our density function is assumed this one, this one. So obviously it's not flat, not flat. Flat is the, the density function is this one. So um, we compute, then this is the H2, this is H4, this is H2, this is H4, so this is the H6. So trace of width uh, compare with the, the these terms with um, here, you see H2 is the, this one, you, can, you are using this one and you are using this one. Then here, the trace of the, this one, then this is H2. So now we got the, this. So we got this one, then the, you know this one here, and you know that this one, then you also get this. So the proof goes on. Lemma is proved. Lemma is proved. So now, now we prove that the sum of the first k is the less than four k. The average of the remaining is the m minus one minus k. Then equality case is the length one symmetric space. I want to prove this to two. Okay, so we express epsilon lambda i is the four plus lambda i, then if i is the one to k, the so i is the k plus one to m minus one, then the one plus delta i. Using the lemma, the lemma says that here, here, the lemma says that, then sum of the delta i becomes zero. So we now compute the using the lemma, then here this is uh, becomes the, the whole m minus one minus yeah the i equal k then then six times so now you can get the, this one so this becomes the less than zero so we can get some of the lambda i is the less than 4k. So we estimate the, this one and suppose to the all the equalities given, then you can have the here, uh, this implies, if we, this is equality, then this is zero, this we use the here, then this is non-negative, so we can all the lambda i is zero. So we can, so here is zero. So epsilon lambda i is the four, the i is less than k, i is the, the remaining is one for every unit tangent vector. So m is also one. So we compute trace of the Jacobi operator then sixth order term, we are using the sixth order term. Then we compared because you know that the J1, J2, J3. So we compared with the density function. Now we can get this is a zero by the computation. Okay. So here, 
So, so we can get this one. So the Jacob operator is self adjoint. So this becomes J Jacob operator is the constant along any geodesic relative to parallel path. So you can you get M is locally symmetric. So we are working to the locally, M is a small geodesic pole. So M is a symmetry. So M in base isometrically, globally symmetry connected manifold. Kibo says that the um, uh, simply connected homogeneous harmonic manifold is flat or length on symmetry, non symmetry, dynamic rich space. Obviously, our uh, density function is not flat and also is a symmetry. So this becomes rank one symmetric space. So using the uh, eigenvalues of the reduced Jacobi operator, we uh, the, we have the, some average of the eigenvalues. So we can get rank one symmetric space. Okay, so the previous one is the estimate the average of the eigenvalues of the reduced Jacobi operator, the individual eigenvalues, then you can get this one. Okay, now we are moving to the central harmonic manifold about P. If there exists non-constant radial harmonic function on a punctured neighborhood, we say that if the Riemannian manifold is a center harmony about P, centered P, is that there exists non constant radial harmony function on a punctured neighborhood. Every point, the center harmony, we call the harmonic manifold. Okay, so you are harmonic, the example of the harmonic manifold was that the length one symmetric space plot or the Dynamic space, but want to build the so what is the center harmonic manifold? Okay, if you assume the center harmonic, then things is very different. The phenomenon. So I want to look at it. So x norm scale is that the motivation goes to from the the Cobb's and Bruce paper. The x norm scale is the Euclidean length. GE is the Euclidean metric. If you put the, the zero is the smooth, then Copson and Roos introduced uh, some radial uh, conformal deformation of the Euclidean metric. Okay, then with the deformed metric is a center harmony that with respect to origin, but for the generic pi, this is not the central harmony with respect to any other point. This is the motivation to look at it. So the M be the uh, germ of the Riemannian manifolds, which is central harmony about P, the psi is the smooth function with the Non zero at a point zero, it's non zero. Then we have the radial conformal deformation of G. Then the manifold is a central harmony about the P. It just uh, rescaled to the uh, this one, then density function rescaled. Let's look at the short read. The proof was that the R theta with the geodesic polar coordinates centered at P, if you choose local coordinates on the unisphere, then the metric is this, then density the function is the determinant of G and then the density of the sphere. Then you introduce the prec R satisfied at a point zero is zero. The prec R is the 
psi r square inverse j r, then r is the, the inverse function, then to the g psi is this one. So now, so we have the tau star precar zeta gives the Jordache polar coordinates for the metric g psi. And precar is the Jordache distance, the function of g pi. So now the density function becomes the one minus m power here because of this. So g psi is a central harmony about the p. So using the, the um, thing, uh, if g is the, the central harmony metric, we just the radial deformation of the one variable change, then uh, mg psi is a center harmony about the p. You know that? Now, m be the harmonic manifold. The harmonic manifold is Einstein, remember? The m psi is the deformed metric. The phi is radial. m psi is a center harmony about a point to q different from p you know, injective, less than injective radius. If the geodesic sphere centered at a point P, which passes through Q is not a totally umbri at a point Q, then pi is the, the pi is the constant to infinite order at a point Q. In particular, the function is uh, real analytic then m psi is homothetic to m. So if pi is the, the real analytic function, then m is the space form, then m psi has to the space form. Okay. So to do this, the uh, rich tensor, uh, harmonic manifold is Einstein manifold. So uh, this is a relation between the conformal the metric m psi is the conformal deformation of the radial function. And then the Einstein rich tensor with the deformed metric minus Einstein metric G is the, the this one, Hessian of the NG. Okay, if M is Einstein, the norm is less than injective, then the geodesic sphere is not a totally umbre at a point psi, then the M psi is Einstein, and if and only if this one. So you could not get to the uh, Einstein with the, the deformation. Okay. okay, so uh, this comes from, this is the, the familiar equation. If this comes from this equation, okay, so M is Einstein, M Psi, uh, M is Einstein and also M Psi with the Einstein, then it has to be the some multiple of the metric tensor. So see if the psi prime and the pi two prime is zero, if the uh, geodesic sphere is not totally umbre, then this second fundamental form, this is not zero. So this is the assumption is that the M is Einstein, and uh, this is the not totally umbre. Then, if, if this equation has to be some uh, multiple of the metric tensor, then this has to be uh, zero. So, for example, 
So this is zero, this is zero, this is zero. If this is not zero, then to the nth side is the Einstein. And the reversely also, um, Hessian is the multiple of the metric tensor, then will be the Einstein. So this is not a, the, the, not a uh, multiple of metric tensor. So this has to be zero. Then this has to be zero. Then this has to be zero. So, so this comes. Okay. So from the, this, we build the central harmony about two points. So M be the unit sphere and G is the standard round metric. P plus minus in north and south poles. Pi is the possible real analytic function of one variable. If give the uh, deformed metric on SM, if M psi is not a space form, if the dimension is greater than three, then M psi is a central harmony about no points of the sphere other than north and south poles. So deformed metric only two points, uh, central harmony at the two points. Okay, R with the geodesic distance from the north and south pole, then the geodesic distance is the arc cosine plus minus the psi one, and then injective radius is pi, you give the real analytic function depends on x x1 coordinate, okay, actually here, psi1, sorry. So this is a radial symmetry, then emphasize central harmony about the, those two points. The m pi is a central harmony about the, the, those two points. This is from the theorem here, the beginning. Okay, the center harmony is by P, radial deformation, then center harmony with this deformed metric. Then C, so suppose that M psi is a center harmony about some other point, then you are in the injective radius, then M psi is space form. This is contradiction because you assumed the M psi is not a space form. Okay, so that's done. So this is the last thing, the non practical example with the trivial volume density function. So M is the greater than four. If you manifold is the CPM minus Katarokas, then G is the Hubini study metric. The underlying manifold is actually open ball of the radius pi over two. Then you choose pi, is that the one, then we defined the break R and break R zero is zero, D break R is this, R is the inverse function, then this is real analytic. So our computation, the density function with the, the break R theta is using this is the one. So, uh, G psi is actually G is the Hubini study metric, uh, while conformal tensor of the Hubini study metric is not a conformally plot, which means that if you multiply the psi, non zero psi, is not a conformally plot, which means that G is not a plot. So any harmonic space with a trivial volume density function is plot. So which means that G is not a harmonic metric. I'll stop here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for a nice talk. Um, are there any questions? I have a question. Uh, I'm not sure whether it has sense, but concerning the, the syntactic expansion at the beginning, 
are there non -iso are, uh, do you know non-isometric manifold with the same asymptotic expansion? Say again, none, none, say again, please. Uh, Non-isometric manifolds. Non-isometric manifold, yes. Yes, which both of them have some points such that the asymptotic expansion around these points coincide, but they are not isometric. Is this possible? So you mean the narrow isometry metry with the narrow isometry and then what? The, the asymptotic expansion at the very beginning of the yes. density function coincide. Yeah. They are exactly the same. Mm. So you mean that the non-isometric uh, metric with the expansion is the same, do you mean? Yes. Obviously, isometry, then expansion is the same, obviously, reverse way is okay. The, the, I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, okay. Are there other questions? Do you have um, particular plans for, for what's, what's next or? Ah, yes, yes. Uh, actually, you are uh, in interesting to the, the maximum injective radius. So we are working on the, the Peter. Uh -huh. For central harmonic or? For yes. Harmonic? Okay. Uh -huh. So it is just a function of the, the neighborhood about the, some injective radius. For example, the RN is the harmonic but the torus Tn is not a harmony. So the delta in T torus, it does not exist the non-constant, non the non-constant uh, Laplace non-trivial solution about the, for any point. The metric is the same, metric is the same, but the, the does not exist the non-trivial, the solution of the Laplace for the every point on the torus, so I think, yeah. Hmm. Are there any other questions or? If not, thank you again. Thank you very much for the listening. <laughs> and our next talk in two weeks will be uh, by Megan Kerr.